everyone. Thanks for joining me here at Mark Douglas Outside. Technically I'm still outside, but I'm at home, so I'm hopefully everybody's staying healthy. Since I haven't been doing any trips, because I've been staying at home most of the time like everybody else. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the cameras that I first started using when I went backpacking to what I'm currently using now. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button. It really does help me out. If you want to see future videos from me, just press the subscribe button. And if you just want to say hi, leave a comment down below. And I release new videos every 9.30 Saturday night. For the first video I did for YouTube, I was using my phone which is an Apple iPhone 6 Plus. The first video was done in December of 2016. And I used this camera to start it. It's in a uh, water resistant case. It does have a little lanyard, which I can use to attach this. So I can hook it onto anything. And I can attach this or when I was on the water. I used this setup from 2016 to 2018 before I left for my trip for Yellowstone and Grand Teton. In August of 2018, I ended up getting this phone, the iPhone 10, because I wanted to shoot better videos and I just wanted a newer phone. With my iPhone, I also ended up getting a Rode mic for the iPhone, so that way I can get better audio while I'm recording. I used this setup for about a year and worked really well for me. To shoot more stable video, I also ended up getting this manual gimbal. Using this worked out really well because it was super small and it gave me super stable video. But with this, there is a setup. With the setup, you have to actually just, you're basically just balancing it. So once you have your phone in, just extend it. want to make sure that it's basically balanced. Once you have it balanced, you can walk around and it'll be pretty stable. The nice thing about this setup is that it doesn't require batteries and that's one less thing to worry about. And when you're done with it, it goes back to this. But when you do this, you still have to rebalance it when you're done when you want to use it again. Also with this setup, it is affected by the wind. So if it's a really windy day, it will push this around just because you have a phone acting as a big wind sail. So I used that setup for about a year till one of my friends dropped her phone down a cliff and we almost didn't find it. After that, I'm like, I'm not doing that because without my phone, I'd be pretty much lost because I do everything with it. The next camera I went to is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I started using this in the fall of 2018 and it's what I've been currently using till now. As you know, the stabilization is awesome on these GoPros and the sound quality has been decent on them. The colors on this camera are awesome. Everything looks so vivid. Obviously, there's a ton of videos on this camera already. With this camera, I also got a few other attachments for it. This is a small tree selfie stick with a detachable tripod base. Nice thing about this one, it extends. I could set it down as a tripod. With this, I also have the Ulanzi case with the mic adapter attached to it. And with this mic adapter, I have the Ceramonic microphone that attaches right there. So everything is nice and compact. This is the current setup for this GoPro. I've been super happy with it, super comfortable. Uh, this is a rubber grip, so it doesn't really transmit any sounds when I move my hand around. This has been my current setup for about two years now. I don't see myself getting any new cameras for the foreseeable future. Not until there's some dramatic improvement in camera quality. Thought about the Hero 8 but it's not a huge improvement for me. Maybe I'll wait for the nine or 10, or maybe I'll wait for a new phone. For my kayak and paddle boarding trips, I've been bringing this floating handle for my GoPro. It's been super awesome because I haven't lost my GoPro yet in the water. 
And that's all the cameras I've been using for my YouTube videos. Obviously this one is the best one I've been using so far. I'm currently recording this section of the video with my iPhone 10, which I'm still happy with. But right now I don't see myself getting a new camera for the foreseeable future. Maybe if there's a iPhone 12 or the GoPro 10 in two years, who knows? The camera market's always changing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video everyone. Bye.